Do you love origami? I know I do. Origami is the art of folding paper into things. I started origami in the first grade when I came to this country as an immigrant and didn't speak English. I would get tons of homework assignments and I just didn't know what to do with them. So I kind of picked up an origami book and I would turn in a seal, an airplane, and a balloon. And you can imagine how this angered my teachers. But hey, I had a bunch of free toys and you can make your own stuff at home with paper. How awesome. My name is Gene Netch, CEO and president of Eureka Demix. And today, I'm going to teach you how to make a seal. All right, it starts with the fish base. So we need to create a crease down the middle. We're going to valley fold left to right. Press, hold, crease. Use a tool. Create a nice fold down the center. Now we're going to airplane fold to that guide crease. Take your edge, bring it to the middle. Press, hold, crease. What you do on one side, you do on the other. Press. Start with the nose. Start there. Press. Hold. And go back down the base. Crease. <clears throat> now we should be here. Excellent. Flip it over. And we're going to bring the top to the bottom. Fold it. Fold the figurine in half. Tip to tip. Press. Hold the base. Crease left. Crease right. This is why I created it. Folded it in half. Great, we're here. Now we're going to flip it back over and we're going to mountain fold the flaps. Pop it open and squeeze it out. Line up the edges, press, hold, crease, press, hold, crease. Use the tool. Great, now what you do on one side, let's do it on this side. Pop it open, stick your finger in there, all the way to the edge, push it down, line to line, edge to edge, hold the tip, press back up, hold the tip, and line it up to the center, and press it all the way up. Use a tool. Excellent. Now take a flap and open it all the way down, doesn't matter which one. Use a tool here. All right, so now the seal starts with the fish base and it's going to go on and we're going to create a bigger neck and a bigger tail. So how do we do that? I'm going to take this, fold it in half. All right, fold it in half. Then we're going to take this and we're going to open it and we're going to pop it all the way up like you did with the tail, but this time, don't be shy, pop it all the way up to this guide crease that you have here and align with that. All the way up as high as it goes. Right? Press, hold, crease. So this could have been a tail, but because I needed more neck, I, I chose more pinch up. Great. Now we're going to construct the fins. The fins are just like the fishes. We're going to fold it into a vertical kind of angle like this, and it'll actually stand on its fins. Press, hold, crease. Now what you do on one side, do on the other. Construct this fin, fold it. This edge should be vertical after you fold. One, two, line up with the other edge. Pinch, press. Crease with your tool. All right, almost there. Now we're gonna construct his face. So we're gonna pop this open again, just like the tail fold. Bring it down, close it, bring it out, and pinch it, All right? Okay, now we're gonna do that tail fold one more time on the nose. I'm gonna kind of open it. Fold it out. This time you're going to fold it all the way back. You don't need to pinch anything out. We're going to close it. All right. So then I went ahead and I constructed the seal's face. Now the seal is going to need a tail. The tail fold means pop it out a little bit. Bend it back. Don't complete the fold. Pinch your figurine back. Just 
pull it back out until you're happy with the angle and then complete the fold and we have our seal.